Ladies, there's quite a few of you that have this extremely irritating habit. It's like you've been single for a long time, you finally get married. You may have been dating a fool that you married for 10, 15 years, but suddenly he doesn't have a name. All you refer to him as is my husband, my husband. You be wearing people out with that. If that is your behavior, you need to stop it. And then you need to look at yourself and figure out why you feel the need to do that. And I have some ideas I'm going to run through. Now, first of all, every one of us has a name. It's only respectful to call your partner by his or her name. Everybody who knows you already knows that you're married. They know that you're the person that you've married to his name. They probably went to the wedding. So for you to constantly rub it in their face, you know, my husband, my husband, my husband, I mean, that's how it's coming across. Even if not, that's not how you mean it, that's how it's appearing to other people. That you want to, like, throw into their face that you have a husband now so that you're, like, in a better class of people or you're better than them, you you know, some in some different category than they are or something. I don't know what it is, really, because when I run into women like that, I'd be looking at them like they're crazy. And it's like they say it with this such pride and, you know, like their head goes back and their chest pokes out and they just look different in the face. And I'd be sitting there looking, you know how you tilt your head to the side like a puppy, looking at them like, you know, is this really like, you really feel like this is an accomplishment for you? I mean, maybe in her family it is. I mean, maybe she's the only one who's ever been married. You know, I don't really know. I don't be getting into folks' business like that. But, um... You know, anyone can get married. I mean, you can walk down the street and find some old bum-ass nigga and, you know, tell him that you marry him and let him have a house, live in a house with you and you'll cook for him and he'll be married. I mean, that in itself doesn't mean anything. What means something is that you have a man who is willing to provide you with the same kind of emotional support, honesty, trust, um, you know, similar family values and... um, you know, that you can can build something with. That's what matters, not the fact that you're married. And so I want to keep emphasizing that because um, for some reason, you know, especially a lot of black women have this fantasy about being married. It's like, you know, I see it online all the time. And like one of my uh, male friends, he does, you know, relationship stuff on his page on Facebook. And uh, he has all these women like, you know, anything will come up that says something about, you know, how you might treat your man in the future if you get married, blah, 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 blah. And there's all these single women with these wild fantasies about what they need to do to have this man in their life and how they need to sacrifice and and give to him and do for him and be everything for him and basically treat him like a spoiled child. So to me, you know, that kind of mentality is the ones that carry over to this when they finally get this magical unicorn husband that they've been dreaming about. They feel so proud of themselves for having reached this milestone that they start walking around, you know, talking about my husband, my husband, my husband. It just makes me think about um, Suge Avery in the color purple when she popped up. It's like, I was married now. You know, it's that kind of it's that kind of mentality, and I'm just like, you know, have us cl- calm the fuck down, calm down, slow your roll. Don't nobody give a fuck. I mean, it's like it's nice. I mean, it's good that you're happy and all of that, but to walk around with this attitude, like you need to just, you know, announce it to everybody and um, constantly refer to him as that instead of by his name. I mean, don't you think that kind of gets irritating to people after a while? I mean, they start looking at you like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Why can't she just say Fred? The motherfucker was Fred for the last eight years that they dating, but now all of a sudden he's my husband and she can't say his name is Fred anymore. So, I mean, think about that kind of stuff. Think about how you are presenting yourself and, you know, what your goal is here. See, that's the thing. I what what is it that you're trying to really do? What is it you're trying to really say? When you say that over and over and over and over and over, what does that mean to you? Which obviously don't mean the same thing to anybody else but them, but you. But I mean, really get into your head and figure out why you feel the need to converse with people in that way. That's what I'm getting at, you know, because it's like, you know, really, I don't care one way or another. It's just something that I've noticed. It's something that I think is silly. And it's something that I think a lot of people find very irritating and off-putting. 
and uh, because they form a lot of negative opinions about you based on that flip that you did. See, you know, you, he was never, tri- you did, wasn't tripping like that before the wedding. And then now all of a sudden, you know, you, your whole persona has changed about this man. And, you know, with we looking at an 80% divorce rate in the African-American community. I mean, he might be my husband this month and next month. He's just going to be that motherfucker. So, I mean, you know what I mean? Just be realistic about how you handle yourself. And uh, remember, you know, not to be burning bridges or trying to make other people feel small and insignificant or like they're unsuccessful or that they are a failure as a woman. I mean, there's all kind of messages that you are probably, I'm just going to say it's unintentional, but who knows, it may be intentional, that you are, you know, that you're giving to other other women when you keep doing that so um this is just a little short little you know thing to remind you of of how to how to get into your own head and to really question why you do the things that you do and why you say the things that you say and why you know where did those those ideas that you need to do that come from um, this is going to be a repetitive theme uh, throughout my channel so this is not the first time i've said it it won't be the last but it's just something I want you to think about. And um, and other ladies, you know, if you have a friend who does this, you know, just bring it to her attention. Be like, you know, have, do you have noticed that since you got married, you know, Fred don't have a name no more? You just, he's, just, he's my husband, Jones. And see what she says. I mean, you know, you can add, add, wrap it in a little humor as I usually do. But the bottom line is you checking her. You know, it's like, what the fuck is this shit? And uh, why are you doing it? You know, why are you tripping like that? What, what's, 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 what is it that you're really trying to say here? And um, I think sometimes people don't even realize, you know, the programming that they have in their head um, about these kind of issues. And they're just acting like, you know, they're, they're not even thinking about it. It's just something that they're just doing because they think that that's what they're supposed to do. And I'm like, who told you that? So be very careful with how you come across to, you know, your friends and your coworkers. And, and, you know, give your man the respect he deserves. Definitely, if some dude's trying to get at you, you definitely want to refer to, well, you know, my husband is my husband. That, that's kind of a warning bell to him that, you you know, you're off the market and you're taken. But for people who already know that you are married, they met your husband, they came to your wedding, you know, they, they answered the phone when dude called the office, they chit-chat with him when he shows up to take you to lunch or pick you up after work. Okay, these people already know you're married. There's no reason for you to keep on saying, yeah, my husband this, my husband that my husband okay don't nobody want to hear all that so uh, watch your mouth and you know keep your friends uh from getting irritated with you from you know acting a fool and uh i'll be back later we can talk about some more stuff i'm going to talk about um why men leave their uh girlfriend or wife for somebody else we're gonna delve into that so um i'll be back talk to you later bye-bye